I've written a couple of papers recently where I've tried to distinguish between destination libertarians and direction libertarians. Destination libertarians are those who say, if it doesn't satisfy the destination I have in mind, we have to get rid of all of it. Whereas direction libertarians say, if it reduces the size of government and increases personal liberty, it's a step in the right direction. It's really hard to get people excited about incremental gains. What's more exciting is the idea that we can have a revolution and change the world. So we need both. The problem is that the people who want big changes right away are, well, my name for them is ex-libertarians. Because after five years, they didn't have any impact. And they're very unhappy. I, all of us know people who, for a few years, were very excited, we're going to change things, we're going to get rid of all these government programs. And they go to talk to people and they go, oh, no, that's not what I want. Whereas if you say, if you say politically, this might actually be possible and make everyone better off, then you might be able to accomplish it. But I've been at the last two libertarian national conventions. And it was striking to me at the divide between those people who wanted to talk about political issues and things that we might accomplish and the others who wanted to know whether or not individuals should be able to own nuclear weapons. <laughs> you should have to have eight years before you talk about nuclear weapons. <laughs> For the first seven beers, you should talk about actual policy things, things that you're going to try to accomplish, people that you're personally going to try to mobilize and inform and get to vote that way. So I, the, the eighth beer, great, we'll talk about it. But I actually find that I was more successful as a libertarian gubernatorial candidate with non-libertarians. I had a lot of libertarians tell me, you know, I'm not voting for you. You're for school vouchers. You actually want school choice. There shouldn't be any public schools. And any program that allows public schools to continue, I'm not going to support. And so I'm going to write in Ron Paul. <laughs> I'm absolutely serious. I'm absolutely serious.